be strong. Be strong. Hey, this is Lauren with TMF Apparel USA, and today I'm going to show you how I refill my ink cartridges in my Airin T800 uh, Chinese DTG printer. This is based off the Epson 3880. So if you do have an Epson 3880 wide format printer for DTF or if it's converted to DTG, this is how you would refill those cartridges. Now, those cartridges look like this. This is the 3880 refillable. You can order these on Amazon. You can get them on the internet. Um, they're basically just empty ink cartridges. They are clear and they have colors on them which is kind of irrelevant. You can put whatever color you want in it, as long as it's in the right slot in the printer. So in the back of this cartridge, there's a little uh, rubber doodad right here. We're gonna pop that out, and that's what we're gonna fill our ink with. Now this one was filled with cleaning solution, as I ran it as a cleaning agent to clean out my lines um, when I swapped some parts over on this machine. But right now I'm gonna show you how I do it on the Airin T800. Now, when I was looking to buy this printer, um, I wasn't looking for it in particular. It kind of got me out of a jam with my free jet being broken down. Um, I couldn't find a lot of information on it. So I'm hoping this might help some folks who are looking to buy one and get into the DTG. First thing I usually do is open up the main hood here. It gives me access to all these cartridges. They're also through the door, but this thing doesn't have a spring on it up top right here. So it's a little bit more difficult for me to hold it open but this does trigger the door open mechanism on the ink cartridge so I open that guy up and then right here we have all our cartridges okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this upper door and you're gonna hear it decompress so basically all of these are compressed um, they do have um, pressure in them they're pressurized and we're gonna go ahead and release these Pull them all out, like so. I'm gonna do my whites this morning. I do like to pull the whites and give them a shake if I haven't used them in a day or so, just to keep them going. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop out all of these little guys and we're gonna fill them up. Now, I have a little bottle here that I pour some white ink into because my syringe will not reach the bottom of that. So I've just got a little bowl here and I have one for each color. We're gonna suck it up just like so. We're gonna stick it in this hole, same hole we pulled the little rubber plug out and we're going to inject the ink into the cartridge. Since the cartridge is clear, you can see exactly how much ink is in them. And when you're done, And they hold about, I don't know, three or four of these syringes, which is each one of these is 10 milliliters that I about fill up with it. So that's what I'm gonna do is fill this up. I don't like it to get too low at all. I like to keep them pretty full. And once they're filled up, Take the rag and I wipe off the tops of them like so. And then we put our cap back on. As far as I can tell, this bottom hole here is just a vent. No ink's gonna come out of it. So we get them in there, wipe them off and give them a good little shake. Make sure it's mixed up real well. As you can see, it's completely filled up like so, and then we're gonna reinsert them into the printer. Close the top. We will hear it repressurize the cartridges.
and we're all done. So I hope you found that video informative. If you have one of those and are looking at uh, doing DTG or maybe a DTF printer, you're gonna use refillable cartridges. You can buy the ink a lot less expensive than buying actual ink cartridges. So buy the cartridges once, buy bottles of ink anywhere from 30 to 200 bucks, um, depending on the size. I usually buy white in bulk, um, much bigger bottles, and just fill them up yourself. And then you don't have to worry about, ah, I'm out of ink cartridges. Um, so just pump them full. All right, you wanna see some more videos about DTG printing, custom t-shirts, DTF printing, some of the DTG printers that I have. I'm gonna keep them coming. So subscribe and like the video. We'll see you next time.